All right. Welcome. Holy frick. Has it been a crazy 15 minutes before the stream? I spilled my coffee on my keyboard. My camera decided to not work. And to be honest, that's about it. So if that's the worst thing that's happening, I'm doing all right. But we uh, we just scraped in. I'm a little bit late. I'm a couple of minutes late. So my deepest apologies. Elaine, Milku and Travis, welcome. Bloody great to have you here. All right, let me know if uh, audio levels are all good and all that as well, because things have messed up. Things have uh, been jumbled around a tad. Good here. Thank you, Travis. All right. So let's get situated. So I've got a plan for today, right? I'm thinking we do some of these uh, timed sort of studies that we've been doing is kind of like a warm up. But then what I want to do, I've got the links in the description for some style studies. So what I'm thinking is I want to be able to synthesize or figure out a particular style, right? It, I'm not going to be able to within the amount of time, but it's what studies for, right? So We'll do a study of a particular style and then we might take one of our sketches from before or we'll get another sort of photo reference and see if we can translate that style or that shape language or whatever uh, onto that photo reference. Does that make sense? Muhammad, welcome. Christian, what's going on, man? Dude, we've got to get you on one of these streams sometime soon. How, how's that? Was it Comic Con? Is it Comic Con? Something in New York that I'm very jealous of that I would uh, would have loved to be a part of. But I'm all over, all the way over on the bloody other side of the planet. Artistic Spartan, welcome. Simone, great to have you. All right, let me just get the timer up. I've got it. My, my posture looks really shit on stream. <laughs> Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. That's going to hurt if I stay like this. All right. So... What was I doing? Let's get the timer script up. So I'm just going to do five minute ones to begin with. So I'll let a few people sort of filter in and uh, and then we'll get started. So five minutes is 300 seconds, I believe. Yes, that's updated. And I'm not drawn today or yesterday either, which isn't a big deal. but it means that these warm-ups are going to be needed, definitely. And I don't want to be touching this because this mic is finicky as fuck. Okie dokie. Xavier. Evening, Ben. You're great, man. I just wanted to say a personal question. If you don't mind, how old are you? And how long have you been doing art? How dare you ask for my age? You don't ask a grown man his age thank you very much now i'm 30. oh hate saying that but you know what 30 is fine any age is fine when i'm 40 i'm gonna be like oh how young i was when i'm 30. when i'm 50 i'm gonna be like oh how young i was when i'm 40. same shit. ah cool similar age xavier i mean how how long have i been doing art um, oh, 
Look, my, on and off for most of my life, right? But only the last, like, say, couple of years have I really been focusing on the more stylized stuff. Alright, what, what brush have we got? Really doesn't matter. The long line skinny, you can get it on Gumroad for free if you want to join along. Links in the description. Alright, feeling good, got coffee. Wait another couple of minutes. Then we're gonna need some audience participation with the emojis. Now, I wish I could be um, streaming to Instagram as well, but the option's been turned off in Australia for some reason. Oh. All right, let's turn off smoothing. So, as I, as I mentioned before, we've got the uh, reference boards. So I've got the stream style reference. Then I, what else have I got? Stream figure reference. This is sort of what I'm going to go for today. All right, I'm going to give a couple of these ones a go. I really like this, dude. I really want to do something with this. This looks sick. So maybe I'll use that as my main one. We'll see. Uh, Muhammad, uh, just search for Ben Eblen design. Regret that. Regret the design bit. Um, Xavier, someone thought you was 30 the other day. Yeah, but I mean, it's like yesterday I was 28, so it's whatever. The time continues. There's nothing we can do about it. So there's no stress. There's no use stressing about it. Could Twitch be an option? Yeah, I was thinking about Twitch. I'm not sure if they've got like a... Uh, terms of service around like multiple streams like streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time I'm not entirely sure let me just get my gum right. so another minute or two we'll uh and then we'll get get cracking so I reckon I'm gonna do this guy see how we go he's very like there's a lot of shapes going on here it is five minutes though, so I'm not expecting much. Snuffles, welcome. And as always, thank you again everyone for popping in. It means a lot. Oh, also before we get started, check this shit. Look at that. That's what I've been working on. Like this is half of what I've been working on all last week. So that is the mold for this little lady. She, so I still got to do the silicon and all that kind of stuff and then cast them, but it's getting closer. This is fiberglass. This shit's fucking rock solid. Looks like a, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> Looks like a big nose. Yeah. But that's been wicked fun. Alright. Let's get cracking. Okay, give me some thumbs up. Or any emoji that you feel represents what you want. And when you're ready to go, let me know. I want to figure out as well how some Twitch streamers if like a certain number of like emojis or whatever pop up, it triggers something else. That could be cool. Something to uh, explore. <laughs> Demi, legend. Travis, Xavier. Raphael, welcome my friend. All right, let's just get cracking into it, shall we? Three, two, one, start, let's go, let's get warmed up. I might even, hmm, I wonder if there's a Bennett, hmm, I don't know, um, never mind, I'll finish my thought later.
So I'm going to push his head a little bit more. This way. And I might not get any detail at all. And that's fine. What's the time? Four minutes. We're already lost a minute. Or we have four minutes left. Depending on how you want to look at it. Now I've been doing a bit of study on animation as well. I've been following a lot of Aaron Blaze's stuff. And I love how he like feels his drawings. If that makes any sense at all. Right, they're less... Um, what's the word? They're less... Stiff. Like they're just not stiff. And I don't think you can be with like successful animation, right? So I want to sort of capture a bit of that as well. I'd love to do like an animation stream as well, but I think it would be painful for a lot of people. They'll just be like, oh, this fucking guy. Bloody hell, come back to us when you know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, let's do the, the face. And the eye. And this is where, right? So when we do the style studies, this is where we will take close look at what certain artists or how they approach certain sort of challenges, if you know what I mean. And then we can sort of see if we can do something similar. This is, this. Uh, I feel like he needs an arm somewhere, but he's like, what is that arm doing? Nothing. So it's kind of useless. I'm just thinking simple shapes to begin with. It's going to be pretty scrappy because we've only got five minutes. Also, have you guys seen that uh, Netflix put out Nimona's art book for free as a PDF? That was pretty sick. I've been going through that last night as well. Give the old flipper eight. Whoa, this music's too intense. 44 minutes, no, 44 minutes, 44 seconds left. We need to find this center line. Where is that? Thirteen. For whatever reason, I always like putting glasses on people. I don't wear glasses myself, but well, I sometimes do. Stop. Put them down. Don't even think about going a second over. First one down. Hopefully that wasn't painful. Mr. Sir, welcome. Getting David Tennant Doctor vibes, yep. Animation is pain. I've been playing around with it for a year, not formally. Cool, how have you been, how have you been finding it, Demi? 
when you just did it's pain, but hopefully you've been enjoying it a little bit. Enjoying it a little bit. <clears throat> Zane, great to have you. Uh, if if Yanyi, if Yanyi, potentially is your name. My apologies if I butchered that. Through the character artist from Nigeria. But your stuff's been very helpful. Fantastic. Uh, Xavier Basila. 44 minutes, 44 seconds. Same, same. <laughs> Got a total of like eight lines. Nice one. How to be a witch. I'm not drawing on a display. I'm drawing on a... Uh, like it's technically a display, but I'm not using it as a display. I'm just using it as a as a tablet. I never use this display. Only because the resolution isn't as high as this. And this keeps... Although my posture sometimes goes a little bit like... Eh. It's just good to look ahead for like longest periods for like a stream, for example. Uh, all right, so I'll let you know. I'll show you because this is like super... This is like nuts. Cool. Um, let's open Obsidian. So you're getting a little insight into my personal notes check this shit out if you haven't seen obsidian before right i've showed this before on stream but not for ages so this is where i do all my research of like these are all my notes over time and how they connect to one another how sick is this right so you've got like all like everything right you got art streaming philosophy anxiety karmas copyright copyright just like everything that i get from like youtube so i've got like a whole thing on like youtube tube resource resources so this is all my study on youtube resources and stuff but i digress nimona art book so this is this was from facebook right so 2d animation art Netflix has made the Nimona art book available for free. Which is sick. And then if we crack open the PDF. Well, it's got, it's like embedded in here. But yeah, you've got the whole art book, 181 pages. What I loved about it was, if it wants to fucking load. Hold on. Um, what if I open it in new tab? There we go. That's going to be better. Scroll down a little bit. Ah, good call. Good call. Link that bad boy in chat. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it's just taking a bit to load. But there's a really good one. And because it's free, I think it's okay to show this, like, online. Like, I mean, that'd, logically, that makes sense. But there's one thing in particular, if it fucking wants to load. There's just so much shit in here, which is awesome. Uh, there was this thing online and like the type of lines they used. Come on. Where are we at? Where are we at? I think it's up a little bit further, a bit further, a bit further. It was showing the different character. Like this is beautiful stuff, right? You can study for a month of Sundays just on this. But... Oh, it's, got, it's not going to show me, is it? But essentially, you'll see it as you go through it. There's this section where they show like what lines to use. There's like, we only use straight lines and these lines don't use like really complex lines. Don't use like um, really jagged, like detailed lines. It's sort of like ironing out the details of stuff. It was just cool to see it laid out because I've always had the assumption that they had to follow these kind of rules across sort of the production but just seeing it laid out in a kind of rule book is sick. I love that. Anyway, I digress. So the link's in chat if you do want to go check it out. Demi, well, painting that I refuse to stop using Clip Studio for animation. I managed to get some art commissions in animation, so it's overall pleasure. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, what do I use while I'm waiting for uh, bloody Procreate Dreams? What do I use for animation, like on desktop? Can I use Photoshop? 
I know you can do timeline animation, but is there a better way or something that's just like free just to get, get going? Cool, cool, cool. All right. Enough bloody dicking around. Let us continue. But yeah, I want to I wanna make a massive collection, like a library of the art of books. I've got very few. So I think... And they could be... That's an expense. That's a business expense. <laughs> All right. Let's try this one. Just a static pose. It's pretty far away. It's not super detailed, which is nice. So I'm going to focus this one with the simplest shapes that I can get. Okay, so it's gonna be a little experiment. Let's reset the timer. And as always, as a team sport. <clears throat> grease pencil, blender grease pencil, awesome inquisitive. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to check it out. Let me write a note for that. Blender, also, best investment you can get. Buddy poster notes. But get the real post-it notes. These are like knockoffs and they're shit for like the stickiness. Blender grease. Pencil. Animation. All right, sick. Throw this here so I don't forget. All right. <clears throat> okay, dumb. I'll, uh, I'll give you a moment. A year and a half ago, there was a large 1.3 terabyte of art stuff floating around 4chan. See, I just could, I don't know. I just don't, I, it'll be nice to have the physical stuff, I think. It's gonna be fucking expensive, but it'll be nice. All right. Waiting for dumb thumbs up. Beautiful. Okay. Emojis in chat. And then we'll get going. I'm poor. What can I say? Yeah, that's fine. Like, do what you can. No, no judgment here. All right. We got emojis in chat. Beautiful. We need a new. Not this song. No, no, that's in the next YouTube video. All right, cool. Beautiful, we got emojis. Let's get cracking. Three, two, one, off we go. So I see line there. I see that. So I'm going to go slow. I'm going to go fast by going slow. All right. Sounds very philosophical and wanky, but I know what I mean. All right. Um, here and here. Maybe she has like bigger boots because I want them to be bigger for no other reason. So she's got the puffer jacket. Oh, these dogs. I hope you can't hear them. I wish I couldn't hear them. Okay, 3.39. So 
So I'm thinking simplest of all simple. Has anyone been catching TV Choice streams as well? I've been uh, watching them on repeat. Let's do something with the face. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from her. Just like, mm. yeah, okay, whatever. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I. I, no, eyelash, eyelash. I, colored bit, I, colored bit. Mm -mm. Something like that. See, go fast by going slower. Sort of built the foundation. What do we got? Minute 26. Some pockets for perspective. Now, be I'm simplifying the shit out of these. Uh, jeans because you can see where they're all bunched up I'm just going zigzag zigzag down but it still gives the impression of that sort of crease you know well, we got 18 seconds buddy help let's get an outline going of the jacket and we've lost some detail in the arms where are the arms where are the hands who knows Three, two, one. Oh. Number two, down. She's a fly. <laughs> Let's have a look. When was the last filthy update? Haven't had one in a little while. Um... I want to catch up with Francis soon to uh, to see what we can do with that. Yeah, dumb. Yeah, TV Choi has been streaming recently. It's pretty cool. You'd still be trying to figure out proportions by now. Yeah, see, this is the thing, though. This is the benefit of um, doing these, like, timed sort of studies. It helps prioritize your thinking. You don't have time to get caught in the minutia it's just okay the head's about here the torso is about here the legs are about here go and then you can adjust but it all it really forces you to be simple Aussie welcome how to be a witch I love how I'm just vibing while I'm drawing yeah <laughs> I mean this is fun this is great fun Art of Ant. Hey Ben, I've been trying to take my shorts more serious, partly because I like your shorts so much. And I got 3k views for the first time. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. 
Um, I know that's not much, but I'm excited. Hey, dude, yeah, look, I, when I started doing reels and shorts and stuff, they got nothing. So that's fantastic. Kai, welcome back. Good to have you. I've been playing with um, DaVinci Resolve as well as my main uh, sort of editing tool. It's been phenomenal. Saves me a ton of time and it's free. I'm just using the free version. I might upgrade to the paid version in the next couple of months where I see fit, but at the moment, the free version's freaking sick. Uh, the canvas size is oh, whatever it is. Canvas size, let's have a look. It's that, 4320 by 5400. I'm confident about a few of my lines. Others are just searching lines. Hey man, that happens. A lot of these are searching lines as well. Uh, so you're saying quantity will contribute to quality. Hmm. Yes. Quantity will contribute to quality. But I think it's... Um, when it comes to like social stuff, like content and anything really that you're trying to get better at, it's sort of like, okay, you could we could like do an analogy with drawing. If I just sat here and drew a fucking circle every day, I get bloody good at drawing circles, right? But I'm not learning anything. But technically I'm getting the mileage in. You could calculate the number of pixels that I lay down a day and it could be astronomical, right? But it's sort of like quantity with purpose is just going to be way better than quantity just willy-nilly because to, just to get something out there. But you could all, there is, there's no black and white with any of this stuff. But you could also think about, like think of it in stages. If you just want to get into the habit of creating content, just get stuff out on a, uh, on a somewhat regular basis or just get used to putting stuff out then it's fantastic just to do the circles essentially and just go and get the pen to paper. But eventually you've got to start looking at these circles and then say, okay, how can I turn this into like an eye? Right? All right, cool. You know what I mean? I don't know if that analogy holds up, but then it's like, all right, what if I want to do this kind of eye? But then I want to look at other people's eyes and everyone loves those eyes. How do they do that? How do they do this? I hope that makes sense. I just came up, that analogy came up with on the fly, so I don't know if that makes any sense. Kai, <laughs> of course. Hey, that's a bloody good circle. I appreciate it, Demi. Zane, oh, thanks, Zane. Yeah, look, I didn't do any. I just it clicked save. All right, no, 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 enough. Didn't come here just for me to bloody talk. So let's uh, let's try this one, eh? We got some wings. All right, let's do one more, and then let's do some style studies. I think that's that's the go. We'll reset it. It's good analogy. Fantastic. When do you start to draw? Very soon. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Very soon. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Everyone, emojis in chat. Let me know. And then we'll get cracking. Ah, uh, Demi, I like it. Okay, a couple of emojis, beautiful. All right, I'm trying this one. We'll see how it goes. Three, two, one. 
five minutes on the clock. Okay. How do I simplify these? So I'm finding the foot planted. Wings are tiny, so we gotta move it down. in maybe they're looking up at us kind of looks like an owl at the moment so yeah just wait for a second or maybe that's a kind that maybe that's kind of cool though but they kind of look a little bit owlish What do we got? Two minutes, shit. Okay, where do I need to update? Minute, minute left, don't panic, don't panic. quite like this like wide bridge of the nose it does very look, look very owl like oh my god what's going on let's make the eyes look up a little bit for the last 30 seconds let's just see what we can do with the eyes yeah she's not happy
Oh shit, stop. Ah, happy birthday for a couple of days ago, Kai. Demi, yeah, I guess just, it really depends on your uh, your goals. Here, I'm really not trying to get the pose to match. I'm trying to... What's the word? I'm trying to get, I guess, for lack of a better word, I'm trying to get the vibe of the pose rather than getting it one-to-one. -one. Because if I... If I'm looking here, there's lots of little, like, ins and outs and ins and outs kind of thing. But I just... Have simplified that boom just with one line and then I can come in later if I wanted to like if I had more than five minutes time to put all these little things in and like add in the knee and blah 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 all right but just for simplicity and we've only got five minutes right and I'm um, tweaking things that's fine okay stop Stop, stop, stop. Uh, I'm drawing with a pen tablet, Dennis. Faha, welcome. Demi, I just want to be a little good at everything. Jack of all trades. Do you know the real saying? of that jack of all trades. Everyone says, oh, jack of all trades, master of none. But the real one is a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. But for some reason, people just lop the end of that off. So yeah, there's that. All right, let's get, let's have a look at some of these styles. Oh, I really like James Woods. That's really cool. All right, the simplicity of these, but like the body and the... So what, I, what I'm going to try and do here is look at the, I guess, yeah, the shape language, you could say. And maybe we do it on these characters. Maybe we say, all right, instead of going back to the reference necessarily, use what we've got here and see if we can make it more along the lines of this. All right. So I might, use, I might try this with this character. Give everyone a little minute or so break. Wicard, welcome. Inquisitive, oh, I don't know, a few more? We might do some color, we'll see how we go. I've got some YouTube videos to edit. No peace, welcome. I did not know about that whole concept, but I pieced together that laser focusing on just one skill is detrimental to general learning, especially in art. Yeah, I can I can see both ways though. I can see both I can see something valuable in laser focusing on something. At least for a period of time. All right, so what am I seeing here? Let's analyze this just momentarily. Let's see, oh, this is a um, character design references. Let's crack this open. James Wood, so it's like a profile. Awesome, bloody lovely. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Obsidian, I will create a new James Woods. And then use these as just some 
reference pieces and then I'm going to link this quickly to character design so I can find it later. Sick. Okay. So I'm seeing really like smooth lines, right? Like smooth um, transitions between things. Nothing super hard edged. I guess it's going to be dependent on the character though, right? So I think looking at these ones, the necks, I'm seeing the necks. So you've got quite long necks that come out smoothly down to sort of the shoulders. So let's, let's see what's going to be actually. Let's just try this as an experiment. Let's get her, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get her, but then I'm going to, what's going to be the best way? Excuse me. Let's put her down here. All right, and then we throw this one up here. It's getting bloody technical. All right. Let's try this. I'm going to go 10 minutes on this one. Nina, Nina Godmaker, it's 4 a.m. Man, good morning. Ishimwe Christian, it's called Obsidian. It's like my favorite note taking app. All right. Emojis in chat, this is a team sport. So we're trying to take a look at James Woods, let's say, shape language and translate it onto this reference and create something here within 10 minutes. It's, we're training with a weight vest on here. It's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be fun, I hope. All right, let me know, Demi. Why, thank you, David. It's a Yeti one. It was a gift. All right, I need some emojis. Let me know that I'm not starting without you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, some emoji fiesta. I love it. All right. Three, two, one. Off we go. Okay. James Woods. Let's see. His heads have like a particular kind of vibe, like triangular -y sort of vibe to them, at least here with these characters, right? And I'm going to go slow to go fast. So, like I mentioned before, sort of long, long neck and traps. It's really cool. Now I'm, I'm, I'm almost getting too far into the details at this stage. Like I'm, I'm almost getting too finicky. I really just need to capture something to begin with so then i have something to work with if that makes sense so we've got big sort of boots oh it sounds like it should be on a coffee ad Nescafe's new blend. 
of whatever. Smooth aroma, Arabica beans are up. There's real minimal And I think I'm kind of copying this on a little bit too much, but I mean, we're learning. This is like way out of my comfort zone. Well, not way out, because it's not like so crazily out of what I usually do, but it's just trying to think about how someone else puts their wines in, which is cool. So how does he do his feet? They're pretty simplified. Five minutes, ugh. Oh. We've got so much time. No stress, no stress. more wavy the head there's not too many sort of sharp like ch -ch 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 things it's pretty like Okay, let's think about this. Three minutes. Looks 
It's always going to be a little bit of your own flavor that sort of mixes in a little bit, which is a good thing. Oh, I've heard this song so many freaking times. It's in the next video. simplified arms right like really skinny minute and a half Seven seconds. Ugh. Oh. I just want to keep going with it. Stop. Stop it. Enough. Put the pencils down. I'm watching you. Okay. Cool. Mario, welcome. Thank you. Camille's World, uh, what are you trying to capture from their style? The shape language, right? So this is way too big. But she's going to be, a, she'll hear you from a bloody mile away. Really like the proportions as well. I'm looking at like real skinny arms, the eyes, even the head shape. So the head shape I saw was, and even this is very sort of like triangular. But it's not going to be consistent across all characters, but just these three, right? So, on a simplified level, I'm kind of seeing if we make this a little bit smaller triangle and this kind of deal. That's kind of what I'm seeing. And then we add in the shoes and the feet and that kind of stuff. But it's like really slender, but the neck transition is cool. How do we go? Gus, welcome. 
Saman, hello, <laughs> welcome. Oh, dumb, yeah, we'll, we'll give you overtime for wasp interruptions. Uh, Creole Mumba, why do you use a brush that is longer versus a brush with a single point like a regular pencil? Um, because I think it looks cool. There's not too much more thought and I've seen other people do it. But you can also have like pencils or like uh, ink pens that have a little like chisel tip to them as well. So it gives that, it, gi it allows you the ability to give you that kind of thick and thin kind of deal if that makes sense as well i mean you could do that with a circle one but it, i don't know it's just a different look and it kind of mimics a a chisel brush or that kind of thing good one i'll upload it as a short well you know i will be I, that's all i've been doing recently just to save me time is uploading some of these uh clips or just like quick overviews to uh, as reels. All right, let's find a another style exploration. What do we think? Even like these two, I love that. So, what is this one again? Onward. Ah, Reva, appreciate it. Thank you, welcome. Oh, Dazzling. But they had, like, so many, so many different effects. <laughs> Nina Godmaker, she looks like you. Willow, happy birthday. Oh, you have no oh, I don't I don't know if I believe that but if that's true I'm sorry to hear it but you're here so welcome and happy birthday all right I'll give you another couple of minutes we've got old mate landlord Let's see if we can do something with these, this kind of character. So if we just look at this style to begin with, obviously Pixar, um, but if I'm just looking at the shapes, uh, ra very round eyes, round features. You got the pointiness of the ears, but that's about the only thing that's kind of pointy on them. Everything's still very like round chunky is another way to put it as well i guess with the bigger guy of course it's chunky but he's a little bit more slender but even like the nose bigger guy has a smaller nose thinner guy has a big bigger chunkier nose so there's a little bit of balance there um but yeah it's gonna be fun So there you go, Willow. Gus. No sé inglés, pero me encanta tu conti contenido. Te veo con subtitulo. I don't speak that language. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, but I'm pretty sure you're asking if there are subtitles. And currently there are not. My apologies. But hopefully you can have some fun anyway. And you probably don't understand what I just said. All right. Give you another minute. And we're going to give this one a whirl. <laughs> I just summoned something. <laughs> yeah, I should be careful, actually. Saying things uh, that I don't know what they are in different languages. <laughs> Not out of fear for summoning anything. But also that, I mean, could be a possibility. 
Inquisitive, thank you. A for effort, yeah. After this one. Ah, dazzling, good, good call, good call. All right, after this one, we're gonna take a five minute break. Ah, thank you, Mario. And thank you, Gus. Okay. Ooh, this is very like Matrix vibes. All right. Let's get it going. Emojis in chat, please. Travis, Dazzling, appreciate you, dumb, thank you, Alfie, oh Alfie, what's happening man, how you been, whoa, it's an emoji fiesta, alright, let's go, three, two, one, alright, Get the larger shapes. I might make him a little bit chunkier. So I'm looking at rounder eyes. Larger hands. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Keep the emojis going. Love it. That's what I'm seeing. Maybe do this kind of nose here. Not entirely sure what expression that is, but I'd like to get face feeling right are pretty close to the nose with both of them. Scarf sort of thing. So I guess it's trying to, yeah, like create another character that would fit within this world using the shape language. Maybe. Who knows? Six minutes.
Thank you, Mario. I'm doing something naughty and I'm going into the details. What are you going to do about it? Nah, it's a mistake. It's a mistake going into the details. Big mistake. Two minutes, oof.
No. Not feeling this one as much, to be perfectly honest. Bonus points if you draw the lamb in the next six seconds. <laughs> lamb is map. There you go. Not terrible. Not, not the best. Jeez, this music. Yeah, I'm not um, sure if that's a good jeez or a bad jeez. It's a... It's a bloody... What's the word? Gamble. With this playlist. Thank you, Mario. He is just making strokes for 10 minutes. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, good call. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. Live chat. My apologies, everyone. What a dum-dum. There we go. That would make it a bit easier. But we do have the uh, links to these references in the description as well. How many hours does it take to get this good? Appreciate the kind words. Probably about 732. I think. But no, I don't know. There's no right... I mean, someone could get faster, better, faster than other people. I think it's really down to what your focus is. Um, and yeah. Simone, I'm almost 40 and I've been drawing on and off. I feel like I'm pretty good in copying reference, but I really like the skills in creating my own. What course or tutorial would you would you su suggest? Um, there's a link to my gum road if you want to check that out. There's one. Um, but see, there's no one course or because I'm. I'm working on a course that really dives deep into sort of like imaginative drawing, stylization and that kind of thing. Because there wasn't one that I found that helped me. A lot of it was doing like struggling through trying to look at other artists, make uh, sort of hypotheses around like why their work looks the way they do, like how they do their eyes, their head, their shapes, similar to what we're doing here. And then just iterating on that a lot. Um, I could have cut down the time to learn a lot of this stuff for sure. But a lot of it also has to do with like understanding simple 3D shapes. I almost say this every stream. But everything comes down to me being able to do this. Well, a lot of stuff does, all right? And then if I want to draw like the nose, for example, if we do the side view, I know that it's going to look similar to that and I can just draw the side view of the nose and then I can do like a three-quarter view of that nose right and that's just understanding these simple 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 3d shapes and building on top of them and sometimes you're not you might not see this 3d shapes in what I'm drawing because I'm just drawing lines and then it just kind of happens but everything I'm thinking about really is 3d shapes right the ears these were 2D shapes, right? That's just like a little 2D shape until I do this. And that puts that lip of the ear 
in you know what i mean but i don't need to do all these little lines because i understand that's what i'm after just after just after a lot of practice i sort of can shortcut um and that's why it's kind of tricky to see like it's great looking at time lapses and stuff but it's tricky to see the thinking behind the time lapses and get like a a bunch of different um, style references and start learning from them <laughs> Sarah Wilson <laughs> nice challenge accepted accepted beautiful Is there any course you think is fundamental? Now, pretty much what I've what I've just said here is get really good at understanding 3D forms in space. And then you can start tweaking those 3D forms. Maybe I want the top of the box to look more like that and more stylized and wonky. You know, now it's like this has transitioned into that. And then we can like lengthen it. Now I'm gonna have a box go this long. And then this can be thought of as this staff maybe. You know, so a lot of it is that. Because then this carries on to lighting and rendering. And you've got the light source here and then you've got like, okay, the shadows here now because we've created a, a three dimensional plane and we know that that is where the light source is gonna hit then that's going to cast a shadow here and blah 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 so it sort of all builds on top of one another and even cracking open blender and sort of if you if you're like oh how do i do 3d shapes crack open blender it's free most computers will be able to run the basic version of it without like si the cycles rendering engine and just throw some shapes in there and move them around thumb guns welcome Ah, uh, Saman. See, this is why I don't think the the number, as I, as I was mentioning before, you could sit and draw a circle for 16 hours a day, every day, until you get to like the 10,000 hours. But then it's like, what? Who gives a shit? Cool, you can draw a circle. So I don't think that's a good metric to look at is the number of hours, personally. All right, I'm going to do a five minute break and then we'll come back to it. Uh, I should write maybe back in five minutes. All right, everyone, catch you later, Dum. Hopefully catch you soon. All right. Toodles, I'll be back momentarily.
<laughs> What's going on here? Mario, you bloody betcha. Oh shit, I've got to stop knocking this thing. Coffee time is correct. Inquisitive. Hell yeah. I've got to try that out. Definitely. And when I want to, when I do some animation, like on stream or whatever, I think I might start off with just real simple like head turns. Like see, like if we draw someone, then we could see if we could like get the head just to turn just a little bit. And then maybe we do like an arm movement and then just like slowly but surely start. And then maybe we can do like a whole thing. Dazzling. <laughs> All right. What's the plan? Temperature check. How are we feeling about what we're doing? Are we enjoying it? Is it boring? I'm enjoying it. have a look here so looking at some more style currently blinking to the beat of the music nice okay i like this one like the chunkiness of everything this is sick who is this it's not going to tell me is it no does anyone know who this artist is? Do I do 2D animation? No, I'm learning it though. I'm, I'm learning it. I've just been doing it on the iPad a little bit, but apparently you can do it in Blender, which is sick. Okay. So what are we, like maybe, instead of doing like a whole new thing, maybe we spend some time and clean up what, what we've done, right? So we go another 10 minutes and then we clean up um, clean up some of these sketches, give ourselves a little bit more time. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of stuck because it's like, yeah, do I want to do some color? And sort of think about how we could color these, like go more. Like if I was to color her in the style of the James Woods. Hmm. All right. I need a vote in chat. I need to help decide. Listen carefully. All right. One is equal to just keep doing the same thing that we're doing for a few more times and then end stream. Two, clean up uh, a couple of these that we've done, still timed, right? So that's two or three, take one of them and add color. All right, one, keep doing what we're doing. Two, clean up what we've already done. Three, color, okay? Let me know in chat. Alfie, thank you. Everyone likes color. Everyone fucking loves color. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> How did I know? Yeah. Everyone loves color. Sick. All right. Color it is.
Now the question is, what do I colour? All right, so I'm going to... Artistic, you're crazy. Gnobella, 3D, welcome. Okay, so... Of these ones, let's number them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Clean, like, refresh the numbers. Now, vote on what one you want me to color. Anna Dalal, welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Aussie one, I'm running from my color responsibilities. <laughs> All right. So we need votes. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Oh shit, you can't see five. There we go. So we got four, four, two, two, one, four, four, five, 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 five. One vote each, please. Thank you very much. Your vote would be discounted otherwise. Four, I'm seeing a lot of fours. Why? It's a uh, one hands down. So many numbers in chat. I know. <laughs> Five, okay, voting stopping in ten seconds. Get your votes in. All right. Shit. I think we've actually got a tie. Just from. Five if you're always fucking it. <laughs> oh, Christ. All right. So, what have we got? I'm just going to get a gauge is what I think, because I'm not going to count them all. But it's pretty much four, 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 four. There's a lot of ones. So, tie between. Oh, there's one, 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 one. Actually, I think one wins. One wins. All right. One it is. When? Oh shit, super. It does too, doesn't it? I'm not going to ask you to poll again. But. Sick. Okay. Alright, one it is. So what I might actually do is clean her up just a tad. I've got a, the real pencil. Where's my other one here? Rip two. <laughs> yeah, so I think I think it was one. It was between one and four. Okay. So we'll clean her up a little bit. So we've got a good sort of foundation. And I think this is just the end of, like, we're going into, like, the end of stream. All right? We're just going to color. Yeah, chat poll is definitely more accurate. Um... Oh, hit me. All right. Let's, let's do, how do I do it? Start a poll. Add option, add option. Fuck, you've only got four options. Yeah, that's the issue with the poll. You've only got four, but there's five of them. All right, we're just going to do one today. And that kind of fits in with the James Woods as well. So that kind of, that kind of works. But this doesn't mean that you have to do this. You can do whatever you want. I'm not your parental guardian. So I might knock her down opacity wise. So this might not be timed. All right. Let's just chill. Let's chat. And let's sling some color around. All right. How does that sound? Okay, so let's even open image a new tab. James Woods, let's check out Instagram. James Woods. Which one is it? 
it this guy? No. No, 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 no. Does anyone have James Woods' Instagram they can... Oh, you can't put shit in chat, can you? Do they have his socials anywhere? Here we go, James Woods. James Woods illustration Instagram. There we go. Thank you, Google. Oh, this is guy. Cool. All right, go check out James's work for sure. Let's just see, because it's more like, oh, I like this. I love this. And it's so freaking tiny. Gonna save that one. I love this one as well. Cool. All right, so it's very cell shaded. Why is it so tiny on... Whoop. Almost, it just flickers larger for a second. You know what? I've got to do some sneaky stuff. Just to get, I'm going to use this as a reference, okay? All right. Nice. So this is James Woods. So we can learn a bit. Yeah, the short film. I can't remember what that was. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, where they're dancing in the rain and they're younger, but they then they they're older, but then then they turn younger. I think. Yeah, that was a good one. Do you know what's nuts, right? Is I was playing around with ChatGPT yesterday because I want to learn more about storytelling and all that fun stuff, right? And I asked it questions like, explain to me how Pixar structures their stories. And it told me. And it gave me references and it gave me books to read. And then I said, okay, explain to me why up in that first 10 minute sequence, why it was so impactful. And then it gave me a full on analysis as to why. It's phenomenal. And then asked it to go deeper, like how, like why, how, how, how do you create emotion? How do you do it? And it's like, oh, well, you could do this because it was balancing between this and that and this and that using X, Y, Z story strings. It's, it's crazy as like a learning tool. It's phenomenal. I still want to think, think simple though. I don't, just because I've got time now, I don't just want to be like, we, let's just spend an hour on this I. And because I'm trying to sort of replicate or understand James's style, that gives me a good excuse to not go too far into the details like I usually would. Let's make this ear just a smidge smaller. It's a bit ridiculous. There we go. It is trained on that. Yeah, exactly. But it's just like how you can use it to learn is amazing. Um, it doesn't necessarily lie. What they call it is like hallucination. So it's very, 
I'm using number four, so I'm actually paying for it. And it's, you can tell it that it's wrong and then it will agree with you. And sometimes it's just flat out wrong, but I think number four is sort of the most accurate that you can sort of get. So you say like the Eiffel Tower is in Paris. Or you like ask like, where's the Eiffel Tower? He's like, oh, it's in Paris. And you're like, no, it's not, it's in, I don't know, Nigeria. And like, oh, sorry, you're right. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. But if you, you, you still got to think logically yourself, like you can't just ask it questions and be like, okay, cool, that's that. It'll give you like books to reference to then go check out and then you can ask it like, okay, explain to me what they were talking about in XYZ book. And then I test it with books that I've already read and I'm like, yep, that's pretty much what they were saying. Yeah, super, yeah. How's that game coming along? That was cool, you're doing, doing dev vlogs. Mixed star, uh, what's happening? Now the cool thing is, we're doing this, right? We're, we're trying to find the balance between styles. I could do this. I could use similar shape language as James here. But then I could go ahead and then do my rendering on top of it. I could use colors that I would usually use. I could do it like, you know what I mean? So then it's like a mashup kind of thing. use a bit of my line work where it makes sense like I always like doing this sort of shadow under the chin mm. yeah it's just basic yeah you're right Simon it's guessing the next word so it's not lying it's not like intentionally like I'm going to deceive Coming along good. I spent the last two weeks just working on uh, art. The dev vlog is in show off uh, in your Discord, but the video views completely flatlined last night, and I even lost a view. How do you lose a view? How is that a thing? <laughs> Someone watches it in reverse. That does it. That's weird. That doesn't make sense. What I might do here is get that reference that I had back that I used to this lady here. Take my time, understand where things would probably be. Get all the straps here. That'd be kind of going into perspective. Catch you later, Demi. Appreciate you popping in. Hmm. That would be interesting to uh, to see. Or just even like understand, like, uh, was it the, the title and the thumbnail? That could be it. Was it the, the sort of hook in the beginning to sort of keep people interested? I wonder. 
if your if your other videos are doing well it would be interesting really just to analyze it and see why why there's such a difference there And even looking at other like really popular dev vlogs, what do they do? Do they set up um, the the video differently? Do they have sort of different intros that sort of keep the audience entertained, keep you entertained, right? Don't think it was a thumbnail. Uh, I do think it was the thumbnail partly. I'm not entirely happy with them overall. I think the background is off, but I'm not sure what to do with it. I reckon look at others. What do they do? What 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 ones do you watch? If you do watch them, you know. What made you click? Even on on, on different videos that aren't like dev vlogs, because that's a whole thing. You could have the best video in the world, but if no one clicks on the thing, kind of doesn't matter. DJ, have I tried live on TikTok? Uh, no, I haven't actually. I've kind of been neglecting TikTok a little bit. Katie, welcome. Ooh, Umi's cute face. I oh, appreciate her. <laughs> Laura, welcome. All right, so I'm just cleaning this up, then we'll throw some color on here momentarily. Now let's go back to James. His really simplified sort of hands. Let's just throw this in here. That's probably a good idea. Really, really thin, thin hands. simple as well which is awesome Okay, cool. Still in the, the correct layer. Nice.
the also the Ben the hook in my videos is one of my favorites, so I don't want that to be the problem. <laughs> yeah, man, you keep what you you enjoy doing. For sure. Straight down. His eyes are bugging me a little bit. Alright, let's get some structure in these pants. Probably wouldn't see the other hand. Okay, that hair probably wouldn't be, if you think about that, that's probably going to come down like here maybe. Maybe we have some... flyaway hairs of sorts. Alright, I think enough because I want to keep it it's got to be simple we've got to keep it simple because we're trying to sort of get the feeling of this Whoop. music stop no a few more okay next all right now we've got underneath. And let's use the old. Where are my. This is the thing that shits me plugins panel. Thank you. I'm going to be using Filthy for speed because that I think would fit pretty well. Steven, yeah, I can never understand how Mac users stand all the floating windows. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot. There are a lot. Uh, so what I want to do here is just get this base shape going. Somewhat careful. 
can stay inside the lines. Oh, I messed up. That's okay. We can fix that. So this is what I'm going to use as a clipping mask. And it was white. That's why I can't see it. All right, now we've got a base. We've got, looks like this head, delete. How, uh, how am I changing the lasso to polygon thingy? Uh, holding option. So this goes squiggly. Whoop. This goes squiggly. But then if I want to go point to point, just hold option. But then if I want to go point to point, then to squiggly, then point to point, just hold option. It's really, really helpful. Or alt, I guess it would be for PC. Now we've got a clipping mask, which is sick. So let's start adding the skin. Should be a fairly speedy process. And then what we can do, what I see is that the actual line color changes as well. So I'm just gonna roughly sort of come through here. delineate all the skin tones. It's going to be wiggly as shit because I'm not zoomed in far enough. And this is where it starts to come to life. Slowly but surely. to cut out this little guy, sick, give it some more depth. Oh no, super. You tell people how happy, happy you are watching the videos. Yeah, I've got it. I've I've kind of really divorced myself from looking at the numbers too heavily, um, because it will affect. Like, oh shit! Got to make a better one next time. Got to make a better one next time. Whereas some of the things it might be out of my con control, so I'm really just stressing out over something that I can't control. But sometimes also, sometimes like with the two videos that I've put up, they've done decently well. But then there'll be, there'll be like no views on it for a long time. And then all of a sudden, the algorithm will pick them up again, like weeks, weeks and weeks later, you know? And then off they go, a few thousand views 
a day or whatever and then it goes back to nothing so it's kind of like it's really up and down all the time like with these next few videos i'm not expecting anything of them i'm not going to look at the numbers for as long as possible i'm just going to post them and then start working on the next one Catch you later, Kai. Uh, Saman, do I believe in talent? I believe more so in... Uh, the time that someone's put into something. Or the focused time, I should say, that someone's put into something. I think it's an, a myth necessarily like I don't know it's hard to say if someone's like born with something but most things you can get better at and you can get world class at if you spend enough time and all of the people you say that say oh so and so is so talented or blah 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 you didn't see all the all the times that they spent on certain things as a as a child right the inordinate or inordinate amount of time spent on doing xyz whatever it is you know i'm just gonna play around with the skin a little bit. Right, so it was a. I might just match the colors fairly similarly. <laughs> yeah, talent is the skill of making it look effortless. Yeah, that's a that's a good way to put it. But it's not even like you're not even trying to necessarily. All right, you look at some people. I I love. Whatever it is, it could be drumming, it could be sculpting, it could be painting, it could be whatever. I absolutely love watching people that have put so many hours in to something that they just don't even think about it and they just do the thing and you just see them go off into like flow. That is the coolest thing to me. Because that flow state, I'm chasing that every, every bloody day, baby. It's, if you think bloody drugs are cool, try that out. Getting into flow state. I'm not saying drugs are cool, kids. Don't, just say no. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's like, what else can you do where you're, where you're completely conscious, you're doing something that you love, and then six hours go by and you're like, oh shit, I haven't eaten. Where did the time go? It's like the whole world just was off on its, on its own, doing its thing, and you were just in your space, and you sort of like time traveled. It's, it's amazing. And I'm trying, like every day I'm trying to, find some of that and when it happens it's freaking magical <laughs> no, don't quote me on that Uh, do I sculpt? Yeah, super. Skill is greater than talent. A thousand percent. Uh, solid capo. Is my mic low? Does anyone else think my mic's low? I can turn it up. My apologies. Test, test, test. Solid capo. I appreciate you popping in though. And letting me know.
Super. Yeah, I need to get over the numbers game, but it's a good indicator of what is working and what isn't. That's the think uh, later part of make now think later. There you go. I can't let myself lose motivation over this. Exactly, because that's all it's going to do. The same, like, I like a very stoic way of thinking about it. If a, if a, uh, if a video pops off, right? fantastic and is that going to stop me creating another one no is it going to make me want to create another one even more maybe a little bit but then go the opposite say you do a video and it, and it goes to shit and is, are you going to quit just because a video did bad or like five did videos did bad or you know what i mean it's it's that real sort of stoic look at things things are great awesome things are bad awesome it is what it is all you can do is control how you react to them and i personally don't like reacting out of emotion to things i can't control and it's learnt, right? I still get stressed out if a post does bad. I'm not saying I'm some fucking... Like, I'm immune to it. I'm definitely not. But the more that I try and think about that, the better. At least for me. Um, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Let's... We'll change the colour of these later. Let's actually just go bam, 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 bam. And put this under everything else. I think that makes sense. Cool. And we'll change the color of this. It looks a little bit too drab. He thought it was made by machines. Uh, that a comic is made by comic people. Yep. That's true. What can I do better? Is what I should be asking. Yeah. I think so. Rather than, oh, I didn't do well. If you think of it as a game, like, like that's how I like to think of it. The whole thing is a game. Business, this, but it's bloody fun, right? So it's like, yeah, sometimes in a game you lose, but then you come up with better strategies. And you win. But this game has real life positive consequences. Okay, let's fill in the shoes and the socks and then let's start finessing. I'm not going to go much. This is still pretty rough comparative to this guy's James's work. Let's bump this up a little bit.
Yeah, it's very rough comparative to his, but it's fine. Gianobella 3D, sometimes you can't help but look at the numbers though. Regardless, very true. But I do my best to create an environment or a situation where I wouldn't be looking at the numbers. I'll put a filter on my notifications to only show comments. I will literally go into the code of when I'm replying to comments through Facebook and turn on, like I would delete the div that has the post numbers. Like it, I'll go to that extent because it can fuck your head up unnecessarily. So it's like, I know that it's going to affect me. So I do everything I can to have it not. Because this is a business for me, right? This is... Like my livelihood. So I can't let something like that affect my livelihood. Okay. This is looking kind of cool. We can definitely play with it. For example... Come here and let's add some of these straps as different colors. Give it a bit of a, a different vibe. Actually, maybe we do these straps as completely different colors. So we come here. And this is nice, just loose, being a little bit looser. more cell shaded something a little bit different cool so that gives some a little bit of difference maybe we brighten it up a tad let's go Yeah, let's play around with the line work. So what we can do is we can turn it either a clipping mask or an alpha lock, alpha mask or whatever you want to call it. We can do this sort of thing. We can really make... Whoop, the line work kind of be less important or less like harsh I guess you could say we've got to fix up some of this stuff around the ear and everything but let's actually add in some lips Ah. <laughs> Super, there you go. That's positive. Sprig, welcome. Tina, welcome. Kochi, great to have you. Raimi, welcome. These eyes are off. Let's think about these guys.
Do. It was a bit, mm, a bit cleaned up. I think that eye oh, has to come down here a little bit. Let's clean up these eyebrows just a smidge. As I make them more messy. All right, so this comes here. Here we can do something like this and color that line work, which is cool. It gives it a little bit more depth. And even with the hair, we can add a little bit of interest like we've got on his head here. Something really simple. Just on the top there. Mm, does that work? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's get rid of this. Also, one thing I've done before as well swap from the brush tool to the pencil tool and it gives a really hard line all right so i don't know if you can erase with it though that's the only issue we might just use the delete for the skin just around the ears clean that up a tad this is fun Experimenting with different styles. Uh, DJ, I'm 30. Uh, I'm still finding my art style and I've been drawing on and off for most of my life. Glenn Frio, welcome. This is the uh, filthy plugin that myself and my friend Francis uh, developed. It allows me to do this sort of stuff really quickly. In Photoshop. Dylan, good to have you back. Catch you later, Inquisitives. Thank you for popping in. See, it's crazy what... Just a little bit of cleaning up and uh, and color can do compared to where we were at. Just for a bit of interest, maybe. This is like very different to what I'd usually draw, but I'm loving this. 
is. Does that make sense maybe to have? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> so no. Yeah, sometimes I use that art style as well, Simon. Uh, Glenn, you can. Oh, you, uh, you found the you found it in the description. Catch you later, Aussie. Thanks for popping in. How's the sculpt cast coming? Yeah, good. I showed this at the at the beginning of the stream. We got the. The jacket, that's one side of it. You got another side. It's coming along good. It takes a bloody long time though, but it's worth it. I've currently got some uh, bases that I'm, exp I'm sort of like concepting out for for plain Jane to see what's going to work and what isn't okay let's have a look here does that make sense It's deceptively tricky to keep it all neat and tidy. Let's add in some shadow maybe. Using multiply. Okay, so maybe shadows on, lights coming down. We can see the shadow there. We need to brighten that right up. Reduce that saturation. That's cool, that gives it some depth. Don't know about it being everywhere though. Hmm. Got to keep it simple, that's the only thing. She reminds me of uh, the girl from Breaking Bad. Jesse's, Jesse's girlfriend. I can't remember her name. <laughs> Super, yeah. <laughs> I know, I was, I was pretty happy with that. Ah, that's a good one, Simone. 
Art style is the mistakes you make in keeping the final image by choice, but manage to make them look good. Agreed. Yeah, the girl from Des uh, Jessica Jones. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, it does. Does uh, definitely give me her vibes. Let me keep this really simple. Go a lighter color right underneath the boots. As if they're sort of upturned a little bit. What do we think? I think maybe we darken. See, now it's all just playing. Like, I don't know really what the right answer is to some of these questions I've got. Maybe we need some darker lines over the top of everything. Because I see he's got some like really nice line variation. So I could come in here and just add in a little bit more of that, that sort of stuff. Even like under the ear here. I mean, this is a very destructive way of working because I'm not keeping within the... sort of layer structure but this is just experimentation I feel like this just needs something there at like the pit of the neck I don't know like if she had a necklace of sorts that'd be nice but there's just something missing maybe I don't know Dario, welcome. Chris, Kristen Ritter, that's the one. Have I tried Pure F for your references? Yes, I certainly have uh, Camilla. The only thing is um, I'm using uh, Pinterest boards. For, the mo for most of the stream, I was using Pinterest boards where every, like, everyone else could get the link to them in the description. Whereas you can't really share pure ref boards unfortunately that would be really helpful though but then everyone has to have pure ref and blah 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 blah, blah so but now nah, appreciate you uh let me know So yeah, something about getting rid of just those dark lines, particularly in this style, it's just really, really satisfying. Let's ground her. Maybe with the same or like similar shadow color as we've got with the multiply layer here. Unfortunately, I don't know where that is, so we're, we're just going to have to wing it. Go underneath here and just... And then... Bada bing, bada boom. Something. Maybe. Like that. Let's add just a little something to the to the leg here like maybe like a patch or something just so just to give it a little bit of dimension like a patch here and maybe like a patch 
on this side as well. Maybe another little patch here. And maybe another little one here. Just to, I don't know, just gives it a little bit more, um, just something a little bit different. And because it's sort of folded outwards, maybe we make this color just a bit different than, for example, like here, because that's all folded out. Just a little bit of color variation goes a long way. Cool. I mean, I can keep going for ever on this. But that's cool. Getting out of our comfort zone. Try something that's annoying me. This sort of cuts in here. Yeah, no, nah, that's not going to do. Mm, better. Not perfect, but yeah. Cool. Yeah, so that was fun. I reckon I want to do, uh, do a bunch of stuff like this because this was a this was a lot of fun just like style mashing up styles i could maybe do this more cell shaded style first and then do it like a full like render over the top buddy sky's the limit also something completely different i'm just thinking about lunch at the moment because i'm freaking hungry has anyone tried a korean barbecue before i had it for the first time yesterday holy shit was that the best thing ever? Anyway, how did we all go? I hope you had a, had some fun. I reckon this wraps up the stream for today. So I've got to get editing. So six, seven, eight, nine, three days. Got one video coming out, a collaboration video on YouTube. And then the week after, I'm planning to post the other, um, sort of my my video so lots of editing lots of stuff to do <laughs> fun gun's been thinking it's disney <laughs> oh rip up damn we're about to build to uh, about to head off Um, and before we go, business time. You know the deal. Gumroad, eight hour, 10 chapter walkthrough tutorial. Links in the description. Comes with a 40 page PDF field guide that I designed myself. You've got uh, 3D models that you can use as study tools that I designed myself. Uh, podcast, a new episode just released of Make Now Think Later, um, talking about our goals. Uh, and productivity and how to uh, do things that matter versus doing a bunch of things that don't matter throughout the day. Um, those are the sort of main topics, but we talk about a bunch of other stuff. It's me and my good friend Francis. We're really into like sort of content creation and figuring this out. Like I was talking about in stream, it's sort of like a game. So it's kind of just, yeah, sharing all the all the numbers, all the the stuff that we we've got going on behind the scenes. Um, the filthy plugin that I use today, links in the description if you want to sort of add a little superpower to Photoshop. Uh, feel free to go check that out. Um, I think that's it. You know where to find me beneblin.com, Instagram, YouTube. I'm all over the place. And once I've got um, the sculpt, sculpts, plain Jane sort of feeling good and starting to get that more into because that's just taking up a bunch of my time a lot more content's going to be coming out um on youtube and instagram and everywhere basically so got a lot of stuff happening let me just catch up with chat uh rafael ben your streams are bonza 
Nice. <laughs> Thanks for the good vibes. Keep it up. Thanks for popping in, Raphael. Thanks for popping in as always, Super. The next. Thank you very much. Ah, fair, Saman. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, dumb. It would be interesting to know what you reckon. Rip up. <laughs> Uh, sorry, you just got here, but no, go go watch the the replay. That's what two and a two and a bit hours. My pleasure, Camilla, and thank you so much for the kind words. Catch you later, Saman. Uh, Glenn Frio, do you work for character designs in games? I haven't done. Uh, I haven't worked for any companies in games, but I've done workshops for game companies. Um. For their art department the next yeah i'm i love these streams and thank you all as well because yeah doing this is freaking awesome uh you guys make this a ton of fun so appreciate you popping in and with that said i think i'm gonna go get some lunch all right we'll catch you in the next one